What is up, my Zim community? It's Diadem37 here. And today we're going to be going a little in-depth on understanding our equipment. And what I mean by that is we're going to be going into the mouse and we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between the two controllers for uh, this particular vlog. Um, so let's jump right into the mouse. Uh, and this one especially goes out to the Logitech users, as I know there's a lot, a lot of people running the Logitech with the Zim. Uh, for those of you running a Razer, I'm pretty sure the process is going to be pretty similar. So let's jump right in. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a persistent configuration on your uh, Logitech G Hub here. So you know, obviously you can choose default if you want. I built an extra one and labeled it Apex Legends because when I started um, on this journey with Zim, uh, I, I really got it for Apex Legends because it was such a high octane, fast paced shooter and my thumbs are garbage. But that's a story for another day. Uh, so the first thing, set up our persistent configuration, title. The second thing within this persistent configuration, you're going to want to choose a color and you're going to want to choose an effect or you can just leave it on fixed if you want. Uh, but I chose mine on breathing because my keyboard is set on breathing. They're both set to red and it just looks pretty on the desk. Uh, the second thing we're going to want to go into is adjusting our DPI values. Which I'm sure if you have the Logitech G Hub, you already know what I'm talking about. This is how I have mine set up and I made sure to select the 1000 Hertz. And for our key bindings, because I know a few of you have asked me, well, how did you bind zero to the DPI shift key? Well, you're going to simply select it, disable it, right? So it's going to say DPI shift when you do this, if you've never done this before. And now it's going to say select assignment. When we click it, we're going to go to keys. And I'm going to just reselect zero. And if you're wondering why I'm choosing uh, numbers after five, it's because my keyboard only goes up to five. So that's the reasoning behind that one. And so now the most important thing after we're done setting our key bindings, uh, I've tried macros and I can't seem to get them to save. If you have questions on that one, uh, just so you know. So now this one's important, guys. If we want this to save so we can use it on our Zim, if I just unplug it without touching anything else now, the mouse goes back to default. So what we're going to have to do is go into your Logitech G502 settings and make sure we turn on our onboard memory. That's not it. Once we've turned on our onboard memory, we need to select the profile that we just built. You're going to see the three dots cycling that has just loaded it to the onboard memory. We are now ready to plug our Logitech mouse back in to the Zim Apex or your Zim. And so 25,000, I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I have the DPI shift values on the DPI up and down. And that's how I have my Logitech G502 set up.